How's it gangin' dudes and dudettes? My name is Sean, and today... Uh, well, welcome back to my channel, but today we are going to talk about and poke fun at <laughs> the establishment and the mainstream media. Oh, because guess what? Guess who is the scapegoat? Oh, man, guess who is the fall guy for Tom Perez? Iowa Democratic Party chairman resigns over caucus debacle. <laughs> Troy Price, the Iowa State Democratic Party chairman who presided over last week's disastrous precinct caucuses, submitted his letter of resignation on Wednesday. All right, and don't you ever forget to smack a little bit of gravy. One like for one gravy, one share for one mashed taters. You know what I'm saying? Like and the gravy and the mashed taters, and you let it in the shares and all that good stuff. You guys know what to do. I want to see it in the comment section below so you guys can get on the screen here. And I also have another Yang video coming up right after this, guys. So after this video, don't go nowhere. Um, but we have to call out this kind of corruption. You know what I mean? Because this poor guy is taking the fall for Tom Perez. But Andrew Yang's a stand-up guy. And that video is coming up after this one. So let's get right into it. Now, <laughs> this is just such a cover for uh, Tom Perez because Tom Perez is the one who uh, he's saying that they had the option to, but all of uh, the states are, was supposed to be using this shadow app. Shadow app was only was only created uh, what three months prior to uh, the voting <laughs> with the Buttigieg and Clinton executives <laughs> running the show. Oh, the DNC totally made them do it. Now he has to take the fall for the Iowa debacle. So the top rest, keep his seat. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what's happened. So the fact that Democrats uh, deserved better than what happened on caucus night, Price said in a letter delivered to state party's central committee as chairman of th this party, I am deeply sorry for what happened and bear the responsibility for any failures on behalf of the Iowa Democratic Party. <laughs> this poor guy. Well, it is my desire to stay in this role and see the process through its completion. I do believe it's time for the Iowa Democratic Party to begin looking forward and pre prisons of my con uh, current role makes that more difficult. But... <laughs> the thing is, yes, there is a little bit to to blame on him because he didn't really, you know, uh, have any of the backups, you know, done right. It's kind of on him. But the thing is, you know, really the buck stops at the top, and the top is uh, Tom Perez. And Tom Perez should have made sure that the very first state that's going to be the huge media conglomerate is going to come, you know, rain down on this one state when all cameras on. And you didn't make sure. You just asked them if everything was means tested. It's it's Tom Perez's. He is the one who has to make sure these guidelines are followed through. And he did not do that. So let's read on. Price's tenure at the helm of the state party, which began in 2017, was marred by a caucus that went off the rails and still hasn't been resolved after more than a week. An app that was supposed to to be used as a summit results from the more than 1,700 precincts and the state failed delaying the tabulation results. A second black eye came from the results reported by the state party contained dozens of errors, both in recording results and apparent mathematical errors in awarding delegates out of the precinct caucuses. Reward, uh, re results reported the state party uh, last week showed people who just narrowly edging out running centers in the state delegate uh, equivalent tally. No, no, yeah, of course, because <laughs> that's how it's signed. But, both candidates have requested partial recanvases. The media outlets have not declared a winner in the race because the close margin and the uh, recanvas expected to start this weekend. The 2020 caucuses were held uh, under new rules imposed by both Democratic National Committee and State Party as a part of post-2016 reform. Separate sets of numbers, the state delegates equivalent tally that has traditionally been released. The first uh, alignment raw popular vote and the final alignment raw popular vote. So... Ultimately, the plan backfired. The delay results in a confusion over whether the, uh, the precincts had been uh, properly counted led to chaos on caucus night, angering presidential campaigns that complained they had no clarity moving into New Hampshire. Price, an Iowa native that had worked for Barack Obama's 2012 campaign in Clinton's 2016 bid, told colleagues his last plans last week, saying that he wanted to see through the precincts count and end to take the initial request from the campaign's recanvas request. Blah, 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 blah. So, it's just obvious that, okay, so right here it says, in recent days, uh, Price has clashed behind the scenes with Democratic National Committee Chairman Tom Perez, who had been given interviews deriding Price and state's party's efforts. Some Iowa Democrats, however, f uh, have felt Perez failed to claim his own responsibility for failing to pay closer attention to how the caucuses were run, including the health and uh, of an app that went haywire the night of the caucuses, something Price alluded to in his resignation letter. <laughs> I called for an independent review of the decision and the process led to the failure. While this process is just beginning now that the state party is not the only party to blame for what happened last week. 
<laughs> we work collaboratively, co collaboratively with our partners and vendors in the DNC. This process, I am confident the review will be able to determine exactly what we're wrong and what we're right and how we can avoid this from ever happening again. So yes, he is just the fall guy for Tom Perez. This poor guy. <laughs> oh, that's so fucking funny. Oh my God. Uh, oh, anyways, you know, it's just a quick story. This is all I got for you right now. Um, I do have another story coming up about Yang uh, here. Pretty pretty cool because it, it, it's amazing just how wholesome this guy really is going this extra step. So stay tuned here in a couple hours. I'll have that video up. And uh, I love you guys. I'll catch you guys on the other side.